Hello everyone! Today I decided that for once I'm going to make something really simple. It's a bodycon dress with gathers at the side and I'm going to use this beautiful blue fabric to make it because I think it works very well as a party dress. So let's go! To create the pattern I just took a bodycon dress that fits me but you can also use this free mood pattern as reference. The goal is to stretch out the pattern to twice its length. So every 5cm I put a pin into the dress which equals 10cm on the paper. Then I measured the width at every pin and transferred it onto the paper. I wanted to create a front lining that is not gathered so I traced around the top of the dress. Lastly, I just had to connect all the markings and add one centimeter seam allowance. I don't know what my brain was doing when I packed all of my sewing supplies, but I didn't bring a ruler with me. So I had to use a small piece of paper to mark all of my seam allowances, but um, it worked. <laughs> Anyways, the pattern is done. And I really hope that it's going to work out because I didn't put too much thought in it. But I mean the reference dress fits me well and it's just an elongated version of it. So it should work, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna cut it out and hope for the best. First I folded the fabric along the lines, then pinned the pattern in place and cut out the piece. For the back I just folded over the top area and cut it out as well. I also cut out the front lining and one long piece to create the straps. I have cut out all the pieces I need but I accidentally cut the back piece one centimeter too short because I folded over the front pattern at the top to cut out the back piece but I forgot to include the seam allowance. But I think that it won't be a problem because of all the gathering you won't be able to see it anyways. So now I actually wanted to put the front and front lining piece together first but I think it would be nice to put the straps in between the layers. So I'm gonna make the straps first. So it's time to start sewing. So all I did was to take this long piece and feed it through my sewing machine, cut off the excess seam allowance and turn it inside out. And I'm so happy that turning it worked because I made the straps a bit thinner than I usually do. So I was a bit worried that it would all get stuck. The straps are ready to go. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to put the front piece and the front lining piece together along the top edge and therefore I first have to gather this area so it's the same size as this area. After gathering I put the straps in place and the lining on top and sewed along the top edge. Also I finished the bottom edge of the front lining and the top edge of the back piece simply by folding it over and sewing it down. Everything should be prepared now, so the next step is to put the front and the back piece together and I decided to first sew up the side seams, check the fit and gather it afterwards. And because I made the back piece one centimeter too short, I will have to stretch it out a little to make it match the front piece. So I pinned them together and sewed them together with a basting stitch so I would be able to undo it if necessary. I tried it on and it looked bad. It was way too loose and the neckline had to be understitched. So first I fixed the neckline and then I sewed both sides 2 cm smaller, so taking out 8 cm in total. Trying it on again it looked pretty good, so I gathered the sides. To keep the gathers in place I cut out two long strips and pinned and sewed them on top of the seam. Next I stretched out the seam so all the basting stitches would snap so they won't snap while wearing. Oh and I also sewed the lining to the side seams. I just tried the dress on and it's driving me a little bit mad because when it's all perfectly gathered up then it's looking great. But if I start moving around a little and sliding down, 
it's not looking that cute and I don't really know a solution. I'm also not sure whether I overdid the gathering so it's too gathered and bunching up at the sides. So I'm considering to cut off a piece but I'm also scared that it it's too much I cut off and then it's not looking gathered enough anymore. <laughs> and I'm also considering to just take a piece of fabric that is not stretchy and sew it on top of the seam to prevent it from, you know, stretching out. But that could also make it more bulky and also uncomfortable because then the sides are not stretchy anymore. So um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm also considering to just cut off the side seams and redo it with the not stretchy piece, but that would make the dress smaller. So I don't know. But first I decided to cut off 18 centimeters at the bottom edge to reduce all the bulkiness at the sides and backstitched at the bottom edge so the seam won't unravel. My original plan was to finish the edge with my overlock, so I started to set it up on my table until I realized that I forgot to take the cable with me, so the machine was useless. Instead, I went on and ripped out a long piece from a not stretchy fabric and fed it through one of my absolute favorite tools, which is this little bias binding tool, to create some straps I could sew on top of the seam. Then I folded it again and finally stitched it down to keep it all in place. In university, I tried out sewing on an industrial sewing machine and in comparison, the normal sewing machine now kind of sucks <laughs> because everything is so much slower. For example, on this one, you have to put the stitch length to a negative number to be able to backstitch cut off the threads with the scissors. This one sews perfectly. I never had any troubles so I shouldn't be complaining but it's just so much faster on an industrial one. Next I cut the long piece in half, took on the dress inside out and <laughs> pinned the two straps onto both sides. This was a bit difficult to do because I had to find the correct spot while standing up straight and then bent over to pin it in place, but it worked. <laughs> and then I could finally sew it down. I just tried the dress on and it finally, finally fits perfectly. So all that's left to do are some finishing touches and then it's done. <laughs> So I cut off the excess seam allowance at the sides, folded over the hem and sewed it down and attached the straps. It is finished! And <laughs> I definitely learned a lot from this dress. Going into this project, I thought this is going to be quick and simple, but it wasn't. I still think that the construction is super simple but I just didn't know what I was doing. So there are some things I would do differently next time. And the first one is to make the pattern not as long. So to create not as much gathering. So I think I would lengthen the normal dress to 1.5 its length and not to twice its length. Also, I wouldn't do the gathering up here at the armhole. It's not that noticeable, but it looks a bit weird. The next thing is that I would use something not stretchy to stabilize the gathering at the side seam in the first place. All in all, I'm actually pretty happy with the result, but the process could have been easier. But right now, without further ado, let's have a look at the finished dress. Thank you for making it all the way to the end. 
If you want to see more, you can check out this playlist with lots of nice spring projects and free patterns. I'm sure you will like it. See you!